Hello, everyone, wherever you are, you're welcome to today's broadcast. I want to welcome you wherever you're joining from. Today is the 25th. Today is the 25th of February 2024. Today is the 25th, Sunday, the 25th of February 2024. And I want to welcome you. I am Pastor Maxwell Nawihe. Our caption today is Congrats, Nigerians. Congrats, Nigerians. One year anniversary of your useless votes. This is the part one of it. We are telling all Nigerians, congratulations. Those of you that stubbornly went to the polls during the 2023 general election on the 25th of February, want to say congratulations to you. Those of you that refused to pay attention to the prophecies I gave to you, those of you that refuse to pay attention to all the reliable and truthful information we brought to you regarding the need for the free and fair and peaceful referendum that would determine the fate of millions of Nigerians, more especially those of the Biafrans, about 70 million Biafrans, those of you that decided to pay deaf ear to all the warnings I personally give to you alongside others who spoke in the same line. Very few of us. This is one year anniversary of your vote. You shouted and you claimed that your PVC was your power. Your PVC was your voice. Your PVC is your democratic responsibility to vote and be voted for according to the Constitution of Nigeria. And today, this is 25th of February, 2024, making it exactly one year that you voted. You voted for your preferred candidate. I hope it is your preferred candidate that is in our today. I hope it is your preferred candidate. I hope your PVC and your vote was able to take your preferred candidate to the reins of power, into the corridors of power, into Asorok. I hope it is your preferred candidate that is now supervising this very economic woe and hardship that you, even you, is facing today with your entire family. Your relations are going through the same. Your neighbors are going through the same. Your preferred candidate. We are about the uh, the, the whereabouts of the Obidati movement and obedient families, we can't trust them anymore. Congratulations to them, the obedient family. Congratulations to you for voting your preferred candidate. And I believe it is your preferred candidate that is now piloting the affairs of Nigeria. It is congratulations to all of you. Congratulations. So... This is the focus of our broadcast today, and this is the part one of it. There is hunger in the land. Many have died already. Many have committed suicide. Some people are about to die as I speak right now. Hunger. Some people don't understand what we are saying until they are on the ground, until they are physically present in this very contraption to witness what we are saying. Some think it is a media propaganda because they are in the diaspora, they are in America, they are in Germany, they are in Israel, they are in different places, you know, of the world, countries of the world, Asia, the Middle East. Maybe they are in the perfect environment, so they say, and they cannot even feel, even from the voices of their relations back home, when they call them on phone, during their chat on WhatsApp or Facebook, maybe they call it propaganda, media propaganda. I dare you to travel back to Nigeria. Come back to Nigeria to understand or to verify if the information you have been receiving is fake or authentic regarding the state of the nation, regarding the economic woes that people are facing, regarding the hardship that people are facing, regarding the high inflation that people are facing today. Congratulations to every one of you. Those of you that abandoned Namdekano in the DSS dungeon in Abuja, Nigeria. And we are chanting, you know, chanting and championing the campaign for the Igbo presidency. We are shouting on top of your voices 
through your different mainstream or media platforms. You were shouting and campaigning very strongly, very vociferously for Mr. P2B. You abandoned Namdekan. You abandoned his release. You abandoned his incarceration. You abandoned the Biafra Restoration Project. You abandoned everything that has to do with him. And you now adopted P2B as the best alternative to Namdekano. You now adopted the Igbo presidency as the best alternative to the freedom of Namdekano. Congratulations to all of you. This is exactly one year. And believe you me, you still have seven years to go. <laughs> you still have seven more years to go. It is going to be a hell of a ride. I hope you're going to make it. I hope you are going to make it to the end. I hope that this very pain and this very sorrow will not consume you and your entire family. Congratulations to you. My friend is in the back and the other one. Oh Lord, I call on you today. Come and turn things around. Come and turn things around. Turn things around. Come and turn things around. Go for your children. 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 Go for your Nam the canon, Nanka, is your Nanka. When you never be sure, a foreign to one Nanka, United Nations government are setting for your ministry, which is a lot of Pachinaki and a Torake to Mamma. What you see in Nigeria today is reproach. What you see in Nigeria today is reproach. What you see in Nigeria today is reproach. So far, tire, 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 so far, so far. I will answer you and show you greater than the things you don't know. When the righteous man is seated on the throne, when the righteous man is seated on the throne, everywhere you go, it is joy, joy, peace, harmony, prosperity. When the wicked man just like the man in the throne now, right there. From the north to the south, it is trouble, trouble. I want every one of you to pay a very close attention because I'm going to bring some updates to you. Very, very important. As I said earlier in the opening of this broadcast, this is not a propaganda. This is not a media propaganda. This is not just to sound tribal or biased. 
This is not about prejudice. This is the truth on the ground. Anyone that understands what is going on right now in Nigeria, more especially those who are physically in Nigeria, not those that visit and go, those who live in Nigeria, who are domiciled in Nigeria. If you have your relations back home, those of you in the diaspora, I, I don't think that some of you are in touch with them. For you to understand the high cost of living right now in Nigeria. About three weeks ago, it's not up to three weeks that I serviced my car. The engine oil, which is, um, I don't want to mention the name of the brand. It is just four liters that I bought because I had the one that, were, that was remaining when I had, you know, when I did the servicing previously. The one I bought, just four liters, was around 12,000, 13,000. I was shocked to hear yesterday that the same four liter of engine oil is now 20,500. Just yesterday, I was told that the same four liter of engine oil I bought for 12,500 naira to service my car, not up to three weeks, as at now, it is being sold for 20,500. How much is gas? How much is petrol? What about electricity? Power supply? What about security? What are we going to mention? And what are we going to leave out of this very analysis? There is pain. There is hunger. And I'm telling those of you that refuse to listen to our warnings, congratulations to you. I am bringing to you the screen, some of the updates of what is going on now. I am bringing them to the screen that you may understand that Nigeria is in a deep mess. Permit me to bring one of the carnivals and the campaign of Mr. P2B during the 2023 presidential election. The mammoth crowd was unprecedented. The mammoth crowd was something else. Some people thought that it's going to be by popularity. Some people thought that in democracy, the majority carries the vote. That's what they thought when it comes to the Nigerian politics and elections. So they believe that with the crowd and the popular widespread nominations of Mr. P2B, that nobody, no cabal could ever stop him from clinching power come 2023 elections. This is one of the carnivals. Look at the mammoth crowd. You can see. Now, listen to what we are saying. Just listen. The artist that was performing during this carnival was asking them, who you want to vote for? Who you want to vote for? That is a pidgin English. Who do you want to vote for? That was the question he was asking them in the song. Who do you want to vote for? And they were responding, Obi, Obi, Mr. P. Tobi, the former governor of Anambra State, who happened to be the presidential candidate of the Labour Party of Nigeria. Look at the presidented mammoth crowd. They were all shouting, singing, dancing. It was a carnival. When you look at the faces of the, of the youth, when you look at the faces of these people, you see hope. When you look at them, you can see that we are tired. They were sick and tired of the Nigerian dysfunctional system. They were sick and tired of the promise and fail of many decades. They were sick and tired of different kinds of troubles and challenges that Nigeria has been, that has bedeviled, not that Nigeria has been facing, that has bedeviled Nigeria. They needed a new Nigeria of their dreams, according to them. When you look at the energy, when you look at the momentum, when you look at the expressions, when you look at the support, when you look at the solidarity they showed Mr. P2B, when you look at the population, the crowd, mammoth crowd, that thronged wherever P2B visited, 
you will say, oh, no doubt, he's already the Nigerian president. That was the kind of one of them. He was asking them, who go go as Horok? Who will be president? Who will go to Hasorok? Who will be the president? And they were answering, Obi, Obi, Obi. Today, who is in Hasorok? Today, who is the president of Nigeria? Bola Ahmed Tinubu of the APC. He is a Muslim. And his vice is also a Muslim. It is called Muslim Muslim Ticket. It is happening in a democracy in Nigeria. P2B did not make it to Asorok. And this one year, one year anniversary of their useless votes, one year anniversary of their stubbornness to listen to the voice of reasoning and wisdom for the release of Anamnakano and for the freedom of Biafrans. They said it's Obi, but today it's not Obi. Because votes don't count in Nigeria. Because PVC has no future. I'm going to bring my prophecy to the screen. The prophecy I gave before this very time. The prophecy that I gave on the 26th of June, 2022. I gave the prophecy very clearly, very emphatic in my expressions. As the spirit of God directed me and prevailed on my spirit man. I did it. I did not refrain from speaking out. I did not consider those who were attacking me and opposing me. You are going to hear that very prophecy. Even if you have heard it before, you are going to hear it again. That you may compare and contrast. That you may come to that very inescapable conclusion. That there is a prophet in the land. The mark of a prophet. In the book of Deuteronomy chapter 18 from verse 18 to 22. That is the mark of a prophet. The book of John chapter 8 verse 32. You shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. All the lies in the election. All the lies in the campaign. All the lies and fake promises. Today where is it? Congratulations Nigerians. One year anniversary of your useless votes. I am Pastor Maxwell in our here. You had it? Now, this is when the pronounced Mr. Bola Ahmed Tinubu, the winner of the 2023 presidential election. The person you are seeing on the screen right now is the INEC umpire. The INEC umpire, Yakubu Mahmoud. He is from the Northern Extraction and he is a Muslim. He is the one that supervised this carnage of economy, this subversion of the constitution. He is the one that turned the constitution of Nigeria upside down. He is the one that supervised the death that is going on right now, that people are dying of hunger, people are dying of different kind of deprivation and humiliations. He supervised it. Look at his face. He announced Bola Ahmed Tinubu as the winner of the presidential election 25th of February 2023, exactly one year today. Today is the 25th of February 2024. Listen. Of the APC. Having satisfied the requirements of the law, is hereby declared the winner and is returned elected. Thank you. Bola Ahmed of the APC, having satisfied the requirements of the law, is hereby declared the winner 
and is returned elected. Thank you. Listen again. Chinubu Bola Ahmed of the APC, having satisfied the requirements of the law, is hereby declared the winner and is returned elected. Thank you. Did we hear that? I hope you had it very loud and clear. I hope you had what he said. The pronouncement that has set Nigeria on fire today. I hope you had it. This very man is still alive to today. Yakubu or Yakub Mahmoud. He is still alive today. The INEC umpire of Nigeria, who supervised the very subversion of the constitution. And he's not been affected because the money that he was paid is quite huge to take care of him and his children and his children, children in the future, because that is how Nigeria rolls. He claimed that Bola Ahmed Tinubu satisfied all the requirements and he is being returned or being declared the winner of the election. I want to bring to the screen the prophecy I gave before this time. We have a very short time to wrap up this very broadcast. This prophecy we are about to watch, I don't want you to be biased. I don't want you to begin to criticize or to look at this prophecy or listen to it with prejudice in your mind. It is not going to do you any good. Only the truth will prevail. Every prophecy I have ever given, those that doubted it by now, they are counting how many times that they doubted my prophecies, that they didn't take my prophecies serious, and they are counting how many times that they were all put to shame and disgrace, and they regretted all of it. I am bringing that very prophecy to the screen, that you may listen what I said about two years ago. Two years ago, everything I said in that very prophecy you're about to watch right now, they have come to pass. Everything. Everything. No exception. I want you to listen. The light of freedom, the light of the light of divine transformation. I want you to take a listen and bring in it to the screen that you may hear. I am trying to fast forward it. I never look at any prospect for the real world. If you see identity card, a card of frustration, a card of total destruction, a card that doesn't portend any prospect for the BR and the holder. Another replica, or should I say, failed SARS protest battery. 
PVC. NK Mazenanda Kano, the blessed one. Because what God has done. I, I remain Pastor Maxwell Ekenen Nawihen and the senior pastor I am the spiritual leader of God's Praise International that pointed place. I welcome you tonight. I want to take it back a little bit that you may hear what exactly I said about the PVC and the vote that you may understand it very clearly that what we are doing here is not to show that we can do what we're doing. I want to bring back this very prophecy. I am going to replay it some other time in the part two of this same kind of broadcast. The caption is not going to change. Congratulations. Congrats, Nigerians, one year anniversary of a useless vote. This is the part one. This prophecy you are watching now, you are listening to right now. I gave it on the 26th of June, 2022. I want to take it back again that you may hear the things I said prophetically about the PVC. And when I was given this prophecy, there was no sign that what I was saying was true. There was no sign. The prophecy was contrary to the things that physical eyes we are seeing. In the political analysis, in the news projections, political projections or permutations, they saw P2B in Asorok. They saw PVC as the voice of the people. They saw that the vote of the 2023 was going to count, that there will be free and fair election. And there will be credibility. That was what I saw. So the prophecy was contrary to what was a popular opinion. And this prophecy was as far back as 26th of June 2022. I'm going to take it back again. That you may hear the things I said prophetically regarding the election and regarding the PVC. Which has come to pass 100% accurate manifestation. 100% accurate manifestation. Nobody can take it out. That is the truth. That is a fact that is tearing everyone in the face right now. I'm bringing back the screen, please. I may not interrupt it again until when I decide to bring this broadcast to an end. And we are going to continue some other day, maybe tomorrow or next. Pay attention. Very, very close attention. If you look at the caption of this broadcast, it's very simple. PVC is permanent voter's card for those that belong to the damnable zoological republic, a republic that doesn't understand the rule of law. An identity card, a card of frustration, a card of total destruction, a card that doesn't portend any prospect for the bearers and the holders. Did you hear what I said? That the PVC is a card that does not portend any prospect for the bearer and the holder. And today it has been us. And today that is exactly where Nigerians are today. No hope, no prospect. Another replica, or should I say, failed fast protest battery. PVC. NK Mazenamekan total destruction a cut identity card a card of frustration.